this is Ben at Truly Simple Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to create a quote and an invoice on the iPad in Flatrate Pro. Now I'm going to take a look here on the computer first. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at quotes and we'll go to the list view and here you're seeing a list of the quotes that are on the computer right now in the system and currently on the iPad I'm signed in as um, Joe Blow and we can see here that he has three quotes and we can see the quote numbers and then we're going to go over here to invoices and you can see that there are many and we can see the different uh, invoice numbers there and what we'll do is go back to the quotes and now let's go over to the iPad and we're going to go ahead and create a quote starting from the home screen and we'll just go ahead and use our search a price guide and we'll type the word toilet that's going to bring up um, any jobs that reference the word toilet whether it be in the parts or the task names and then we're looking at those uh, jobs and we're going to go ahead and select for this customer in this example the uh, 1.6 gallon elongated bowl and on this same quote we have another toilet that we're not going to be replacing but it does need a rebuild on the inside with a new water level control float valve, valve rod refill tube and flapper and also we're going to offer to the customer resetting the toilet with wax rings so now we've got our three uh, tasks that we want for this uh, job selected we just have to press quote Our quotes created however we need to give it a client so we just select that field right there and we can scroll through our clients like so although I'm going to go back up and select Jack Sparrow as the client and say done it wants a request ID or a call ticket ID, whatever your system is. In this case, we'll just put a number there. And then we can view the quote. Now, quotes showing on the legal pad background, there's a choice of backgrounds that can be set. And we can see the different tasks that are there. But actually, I want to go back and, and make this one as an option. So we'll just go back quote lines and that reset with rack strings we want to show in a separate category so all we have to do is give it a group and we're going to choose group B doesn't matter as long as it's uh, not the same as A which is what all the others default to now when we look at our quote we can see we've isolated that as like an option and you can package different groups of uh, repairs like that. We've got our different pricing, regular and best price. And um, there's also views where you can have uh, just one single column. In this case, I've chosen to have two. And I'm going to select to have everything done at the best price. And then we're going to say the customer decided they don't want that reset, so we choose not checked that unchecks that item now this quote could be emailed by clicking the email button but we're going to go ahead and create an invoice because in this case we're selling the job invoice was created And you can see it brought over to the invoice just the two tasks that we had selected. 
Now we need to get the customer's authorization. One of the nice things is you can double tap so you can see what's going on anytime on certain sections. So here we're going to get the customer signature. We just tap that, say get signature. And we're going to sign that. Okay. That'll be Jack Sparrow's signature. Double tap again. Okay. You can see now that the task is is authorized because they've signed the authorization. We can go back to our quote by selecting that to see the three items that were originally quoted and we can jump back to our invoice like that. Now we can view the invoice if we want to and this is what the customer would see in their email basically which would have the additional terms and conditions that your company has. And that is basically it. Oh, we can email it. It's going to generate an email already typed out with the technician's name and it's got a PDF of the quote. Of course, you would probably have um, the customer sign and accept the work and collect the payment prior to that. But in this example, that basically shows how we create a quote and invoice on the iPad. Now back over to the computer. We'll take a look at our quotes and we can see we do have an additional quote here, number 236. And there's the items that we'd quoted. We can jump over to the invoice. This is the invoice. We can view that invoice here and see it like so. And we can see we've got the signature. And so that would be updated in your company records um, from the people in the field. And we thank you and we'll be showing some more videos. Just another one of the great features of Flatrate Pro and Flatrate Go.